Hey there, I'm James Moore and with Ideal Calibrations, and today we're going to be talking about filter replacement in the Altair 5X. Uh, if you like these videos, please give me a like, a subscribe, and absolutely please buy our calibration gas. Uh, we need the orders. So, anyway, let's get right into this here. You got three major filters in the 5X. You have number one, a water stop filter that is inside the probe. You can find that here by clinking these together, twisting them, pulling this away, and then hold this, pull the tube. And you can look in here and you can see kind of how dirty it is. I don't know if it'll show up well on the camera, uh, but this one's got some particulates in there, some white powder uh, that we don't want to have in there. So easy thing to do, pull it off. Sometimes they really do get in there. You can see this little thin pointy end is down here at the bottom, I right, like that. So we're gonna do this, grab this, push it just in here, just like that. Take the other end of this here, slide these together, and now we're all good. Line up the little dots with these little imprints here, lock it together again, and it go, and you're good to go. Next filters are gonna be inside here. All we do is we unscrew this, and give these a spin. Pull this away. You're gonna see three things. Number one, our dust filter here. You're gonna see our O-ring here. And this is our paper filter of last resort for the unit. So this is gonna be sometimes somewhat hard to get out of there, but that's okay. There we go. But this filter is the last filter before it gets in the unit. It's also the most expensive. You're gonna to wanna to replace it the least. So in order to do that, you're gonna replace these other filters first. And if you need any of these filters, you can give us a call. We usually have them in stock. All right, we're gonna put this one to the side here. Grab our other one, our nice new disc filter. Slide that in there, paper goes down. Put our rubber O-ring in. And you can see this gasket just slides right in there. Make sure it's even all the way around. It's not popping out or anything. Now let's take a look inside here. So this has a little viewing window that shows how dirty it gets. You can see right through there. But you can see that one's got some gunk in there. A lot of stuff from the field. Just gonna replace that, just take it off to the side. This one here, doesn't matter which way it goes, you just slide it inside. Make sure it's nice and smoothly in there. You don't want it coming out on the sides. Then we're gonna flip this upside down. Put our screws back in and put it down most of the way. Don't go all the way. Just do one side most of the way down or halfway and then get the rest of it. Sometimes it'll get weird with the O-ring and then you'll get a pump block error. You don't want that. It's embarrassing. Okay. So now screw this back in all the way. Okay. Nice and tight. Turn the unit back on. And here's how we're going to check to make sure we did this right. We're gonna put it through the pump block check right at the beginning. I'm gonna take this piece of tubing. Now, usually this would be on the end of a long length of tubing and you would check it that way once you had the pump block, the pump probe on there. But we're just gonna check and make sure that we didn't leave anything open or not screw something in properly or maybe the filters are whack. We're just gonna let it get to start up. And now it's gonna ask us for the pump test. We're gonna to go to the very end here, put our thumb over it. And there we go. Now we're all set. All right, we can now take this off. Everything is all set. We know our filters are in right. And then my calibration gas cylinder sliding away. Uh, now I got another video on how to calibrate this unit and do the bump test if you have a problem with that. But if you ever ran into anything here where you have any questions or anything along those lines, you know, feel free to give us a call here. Number 734-956-0539. Again, that's 734-956-0539. You can also find us on the web at idealcalibrations.com. But you guys all stay safe out there and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.